Hello, this is Amin. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all having an awesome day so far. Today, we are going to be going through your assumptions about the German culture and just Germany in general. I left a post over on my Instagram and I told you to send in your assumptions about the German culture. I've done a video like this in the past, so I'll go ahead and link it here because a lot of your assumptions have been answered there. But these are some new ones that I haven't seen before, so I thought it would be fun to go through them because it's always very interesting to hear about what people think about Germany and what they assume to be true about Germany. I know I had a lot of assumptions before where I moved here from Canada and I was very surprised, sometimes pleasantly surprised, sometimes not, um, to have some of these assumptions come true. So the first assumption is they sound angry, a common stereotype of the German language. And this one made me laugh because I remember thinking this too when I first moved here, when I was planning to move here, that the German language sounds very, very harsh and Germans sound angry when they speak. Um, and there's so many memes and videos about this. I like the one about the Schmetterling, I'll put it here, which is a uh, butterfly in German. And I like all the memes that they have about that. And there's some really awesome videos about the German language and how uh, German sounds so harsh compared to English or French or Italian. Um, so yes, the German language is a bit harsher than English, for instance. The pronunciation and enunciation of words are a lot harsher. Um, so I can see how Germans come across as angry. And I did used to think that, but now after being here for a while, I don't think it sounds as harsh as it is perceived. If you go out on the street, you know, people speak very calmly towards each other. Um, if you go to restaurants, people are much more soft spoken. So yes, the language might sound a little harsh, but in day to day life, they definitely don't sound angry or they don't sound like they're fighting with each other. Um, I would say actually like Italian people, when they speak, they sound a lot more angry and even Spanish people, they're super passionate when they speak and you know they raise their voices but germans are not really like that so yes their words might sound harsh and their sentences might sound harsher but people are not really angry and they don't sound angry or like they're about to fight in day-to-day -day life <laughs> Another assumption is they are strict, and this is a bit open-ended, so I wanted to give my opinion here. Um, so yes, in you know the cultural sense, if there are traditions or if there's a law or regulation, Germans really like to abide by that and they like to follow the rules. However, what I notice when it comes to parenting, for instance, um, Germans are much more relaxed in their parenting style. They will give their kids a lot more freedom. Um, you'll see kids playing outside by themselves. The way that you know kids play in the playground, they're much more free. Uh, parents are not you know supervising their every move. So they're not that strict in that sense. <laughs> Another assumption is that Germans are very handsome. And I wonder if my boyfriend is going to watch that, but hey, I have eyes, I can see things, and I can speak about this. I am a free woman. But yes, I would say a lot of German guys are very, very handsome. I'm not gonna lie. Um, a lot of them are tall, you know, very good looking. They take care of themselves. So I would say, yeah, German guys for the most part are good looking. Obviously everybody's preferences are different, what you're into is different, but I'm not gonna lie, German guys are very good looking and German girls are beautiful as well. So yeah, it's very nice to go out and people watch and, and you know, check people out, I guess. Next assumption is that Germans don't bathe or shave as often. And I don't know where this assumption came from. I know that it's a very um, common stereotype or assumption about French people. 
Sorry to my French people if you are watching, if there's any of you out there, probably not, but I have heard that about the French, but I've never actually heard this about Germans. And I would say that this assumption is false. Um, people here, they seem like they shower, they don't smell bad, they cut their hair, they shave, they work out, um, they look pretty fit. So yeah, it doesn't seem like they're dirty or that I'm in a society full of of unkept people and even in Berlin you know where people are much more free-spirited I feel like people still take care of themselves <laughs> next assumption is I've heard that they don't like when you speak English and I would say that this assumption is true kind of I'll tell you why so yes they don't like when you speak English more so they don't like when you don't make an effort to speak German. Now, most people in Germany, especially the younger generation, they all speak perfect English. Now for the older generation, they might be a bit more quick to get angry because maybe they don't feel as comfortable with English or they see it as a sign of disrespect if you try to speak to them just in English and don't even bother with German. But as an expat or as a foreigner, I have noticed myself, especially in Berlin, when I do try to practice some of my German or I'm brave enough to practice some of my German, people hear my accent and they immediately switch back to English because they just wanna make the conversation move faster or they wanna make me feel more comfortable. But I would completely understand if they get upset if you don't make an effort to speak German whatsoever. And actually, I wanted to let you guys know that one of my favorite language learning apps, Pimsleur, is offering you guys a free seven day trial. So if you do wanna practice your German or any other language of your choice, um, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below and you can check out their trial. I've used it myself for both German and Japanese and I highly, highly recommend it. Even Josh has used it and he loves it too. So if you wanna learn a new language or you wanna advance in a certain language, um, I'll leave the link below so you guys can check it out. And then the last assumption I am going to answer is also about German men. There's quite a lot of those here, but this one is German men are not very forward and they're waiting for girls to make the move. Now I am in a long-term relationship, so I am not making moves on any guys. So I can't talk from my personal experience, but what I've heard and seen, um, you know, just going out and from friends and colleagues, Yes, it does seem like guys here do not typically make the first move and they're much more reserved and they do wait for the girls to make the move. It seems like German guys are a bit more shy when it comes to that, um, which is quite surprising actually. I don't know why they're they're so shy, but but they typically are unless, you know, they're super drunk or something and they have, you know, liquid courage. But yeah, typically it's the girl having to chase after the guy here, which is quite opposite to uh, Canada or, you know, US where guys there are like, okay, if I see somebody I like, I'm going to go for it and I'm not going to be shy. Guys there are way more forward. Sometimes it's super annoying because sometimes it's in like really inappropriate places like the gym or like walking down the street and you're like, can you just leave me alone? Yeah, that's annoying, but here it's not really a thing. And even here, guys don't really catcall you, which thank God, because catcalling is the worst. If you don't know what catcalling, it's when you whistle at somebody or you yell something at somebody if you like how they look or you just wanna get their attention. That doesn't really happen here, thank God. But yeah, I would say that this assumption that guys are a little bit more shy and the girls have to make the move is definitely true. So yeah, those are all the assumptions that I'm gonna be answering today. I really hope that you found this video fun. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in your assumptions over on Instagram. 
If you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life, what I'm up to, check my Instagram because I do post there pretty much multiple times a day and we can chat over there as well. It's probably the quickest way that we can interact and I really love talking to you guys there. So I'll leave my link down below. And if you are looking to move to Germany and you want more tips and advice on how to do that, you can check out my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls too and my ebook because I do have an ebook as well. All of the links will be down below you guys. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you all in my next one. Cheers.